Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 23rd to October 29th. Now this is intended to be a weekly love reading. It may or may not resonate for you as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. Wow. So the basis of your reading is the devil for this week, October 23rd through October 29th. All right. You may have some desires. Okay. Some desires that you want to be filled. Okay. This week could be about um, feeding your desires. Okay. You could be having a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries coming in real fast. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I really think that you could be having a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius coming in fast. All right. I think you're going to be feeling very beautiful. You'll probably be uh, living up, living up to um, high expectations of yourself. Okay, putting your, making yourself beautiful. Okay, making yourself be, feel more attractive, actually vibrating very high this week. Many of you will be uh, putting up a very high vibration, which could be attracting many. Okay, it looks like people are, are going to be magnetized towards you this week. Um, really, I mean, it looks like we have uh, some balance coming back. I mean, I think that you're going to... To get right down to the nitty gritty here, I think it's a, a week of attraction, okay, and attention. I think you're going to be really getting a lot of attention this week, probably from from others. Um, yeah, your your beauty is going to be shining. Um, we do have all the signs here, so it could be any sign. Um, good luck's on the way. It is. I think that everything is changing for you guys, Taurus. I really do. I think where things have been down, now they're looking up, all right? I think that the wheel has seriously spun for you, and I think that um, anything that you had been not releasing, you are, and you probably released it with the full moon, okay? I think, or the new moon. I think that the new moon has um, brought you some... Um, new energy, okay, this new moon that happened on the 19th, I think it brought you some new energy, and it goes literally like from a period of negativity to a period of good luck, good fortune, um, a new chapter, okay, so I think that good luck is definitely on your side this week, and I think that you're going to be getting a lot of attention, um, and I think that you are going to be your aura is going to be bright, your vibration is going to be high, and you people are going to be pulled towards you, okay? I, and you could have many um, people, you know, coming in your direction and just noticing your beauty. Even if they don't come up to you, they'll notice it from afar and you will notice them notice it, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. We have a lot of nines here. In fact, we have three of them. One, two, three. Nines are are it's a sign it's a sign to move on it's also a number of um, compassion and that is going to be um, highly seen this week that's one of the parts that is going to um, be so attractive about you that people are going to perceive the compassion in you 
um, from the outside. Okay, they are. I mean, you're going to be absolutely glowing. It looks up. It looks beautiful. Um, I think and nines are also about closure. So you do have three nines. When you see a nine, it's. I mean, I think that many of you have re have finished a stage in your life that, and now a door is really really closed. Okay, so I think that you have. Uh, You've, you've just closed a chapter and now you're ready to start something new. And I think because you've closed that door, um, you know, the universe, the universe knows it's closed and, and the people know, and people know it's closed. So I think that they are, you're going to, people are going to be drawn to you like mad this week. Okay. Congratulations. I see that you are, uh, being very grateful for all that you have. You're enjoying the finer things. Um, the storm is finally over, okay? That's what's going on. The storm is finally over for you guys. It's wonderful. And I think because you've, you've ended something, you've actually closed a door that things happen quick, quickly for you, okay? As far as your inner beauty goes, you know, how quickly your... Um, thoughts change from negative to positive it's like a big weight has been lifted right off your shoulders and you feel it and it shows everybody can see it and I think that change is happening quickly in your favor and this week it's it's apparent okay it is um there may be some obsessions okay this week um somebody could become obsessed with you all right, because I'd say that this nine of pentacles is probably you and we have the devil and the four of pentacles right next to it. So just beware that there could be some obsessions. Um, just be careful. Don't go overboard. Um, it looks like a new love could come in if you are single or if you're looking. One could certainly come in and it could be very charming and passionate and hot and sexy and... Um, Try not to act too impulsively. Now, this may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Um, but I think that you, many of you are getting your life back on track. I think the storm is over and that you have closed a door. You've seriously closed a door and that a new chapter is beginning and it could involve a new love. All right. It, it's like, you know what? You, you close the door because you... You can't pretend that it was going to work out anymore. You know, you couldn't, you just can't pretend. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to pretend anymore. It's time for me to start anew. It's time to focus my energy someplace else. And you close that door. And as soon as you close the door, you have this desire to start something new. And it's strong because that's the devil. Your desire to start something new is super, super strong. Okay? So... It happens, okay? You, it, yeah, your desires are strong, and what's the word? Pheromones. Your pheromones are going to be through the roof. It's like a buck smelling his dough. That's what's going to be going on this week, and you're the dough. Now, this is for male or female, but I'm just saying. Like I said, try not to overindulge. Try not to overdo it. The desires are going to be great. The pheromones are going to be in full swing, okay? They're going to be like way, way up there. There's going to be a lot of sexual desires, and you're going to be, uh, you know, sending that out. And the, the people are going to be hearing it. They are going to be hearing it, and they they could, you know, be heading in your direction more than one. You may have more than one suitor. Sounds pretty exciting, huh? And the thing is, is you you might feel like you don't know how to handle it. You know, any any period of um, uh, guarding your heart, because you are. I mean, you're going to be guarding your heart. But you're you're just going to be like, oh my god, oh my god, how do I handle this? How do I handle this? You know, a uh, change is definitely here for you. Okay, and you many of you might have a choice between. Uh, two suitors, okay, two people. We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, which I think Leo, Aries, Sagittarius is pretty prominent, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I have to remind you that your beauty, your beauty is going to be like so magnetic this week. It really is. Your attractiveness. You are seriously going to be putting out some uh, 
seriously high pheromones, okay, with the Empress and the Strength card. I mean, you're going to be like, whew, the, the people are going to be attracted to you from afar, okay? That's the way I see it. Don't let it get to your head, okay? Don't, don't, don't overindulge and try not to be impulsive, all right? There's a chance that uh, love can come in and you aren't going to be able to ignore it. I don't think you are. Ooh, three of swords. This is about uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness. So a lot of times when this card comes up, especially with what else I see, is and because it looks like there's a lot of love here coming in, not or attraction. You know, there's a lot of, you know, chemistry you're sending out, and and um, your soul is going to be. Um, shining through okay your beautiful compassionate soul is going to be shining through and it's just it's gonna you're gonna be very very vibrant all right so i'm thinking i mean there could be somebody from the past that comes into your life at the same time or right around the same time as another person and somebody might be wanting forgiveness okay so that might happen or this might be saying that you need to forgive somebody you know you need to forgive your um, the guard, you need to forgive whoever hurt you so that you can release the cross against your heart. Do you know what I'm saying? That's where the, there's forgiveness needed. Okay, I know that you closed the door, but now the, probably the next step is to forgive so that you can really open your heart to somebody else because I think that's part of the, one of the advice, okay? I think the advice for you is that you're going to have to let your guard down and forgive the past, Okay. Maybe you have regrets about the past or you have been rejected in the past. And that's one of the things that you need to let go of. All right. Um, so I think that we have a little bit of forgiveness here that because you're going to have to open your heart. Because I see that there's there could be a couple people, man or woman, that want your attention or want to give you attention this week. Okay. Um, and I think there's it could lead to love. And it's there's going to be... there's a, a very um, things are happening fast okay fast really fast and I think you're gonna have interest for more than one person now I imagine you're single it for this if you're not you know somebody else could come in because in many chances you have to in many chances for this reading you have to choose between two people I see that all right we have a knight and a knight and two twos, okay? So, yeah, and you're going to have to have faith and trust in these people. Twos are about faith and trust, and I, so I see that's where the forgiveness comes in. There's definitely a need to forgive, and that takes confidence, but I see that you guys have closed the door on a relationship, I believe. I mean, this could pertain to a job, but this is really a love reading. I think you have closed the door, and so that has really um, made you... Uh, realize okay it's made you realize that you're ready to move on and i think it makes you very desirable i think this is a very desirable week where you have some strong desires and people from afar people near many people are going to find you very desirable sounds good doesn't it <laughs> that strength and that beautiful beautiful it's a time of rebirth that's all there is to it it's a time of rebirth for you this week is when it starts and you once once you go through this period of rebirth and your soul feels like it's renewed because you close the door your vibration raises so high that your pheromones are through the roof and people are going to be feeling it like miles away i mean that's an exaggeration but i just wanted you to get the idea of it oh this is an archangel michael card I was just shuffling as I was talking. Let go of fear now, my prayer. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. 
let go of fear now. Remember I was telling you about that guard against your heart and that you were going to need to, you know, forgive. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made. Forgive the other person for how they treated you, whatever the case may be. So that once you truly forgive, you don't bring that into the next one relationship. Okay? And that's where your fear stems from. So it goes back to that forgiveness again. But either way, you know you got the message. You know what you need to do. I know that you're going to do it because the vibration is so high. Very positive. I think that you will be very desirable this week. You'll be making yourself look desirable and you will be feeling desirable. And people will find you desirable. This is for Taurus. October 23rd to October 29th, 2017.